That whistleblower's ambush. There you see President Obama looking relaxed with other world leaders at the G8 summit today, only hours after The Guardian revealed that America had spied on its own allies, some of them in that room at previous summits. It's the latest bombshell from Edward Snowden, the fugitive behind that massive intelligence leak. His secrets are sending shockwaves all over the world, and now his own father is pleading with him to stop. ABC's chief investigative correspondent Brian Ross starts us off with the latest. This latest leak in Edward Snowden's campaign seems carefully timed for maximum embarrassment and outrage, coming as world leaders gathered in Northern Ireland for the so-called G8 meeting. Snowden gave The Guardian newspaper top-secret documents, revealing how the British government spied on diplomatic targets from all nations and their smartphones at a similar meeting of world leaders in 2009. The Guardian said other documents from Snowden show that at that same meeting four years ago, the NSA intercepted communications from the Russian president shortly after he met with President Obama. No good can come of his revelations. The question is, why does Snowden think it's okay to tell them the details of that espionage? Snowden is still believed to be in Hong Kong, in Haiti as even his own father went on Fox News to urge him to stop the leaks. I just ask that you measure what you're going to do and not release any more information. But there was no sign of that today as Snowden answered questions online through the Guardian newspaper. He described a kind of dead man switch to make sure his documents became public, saying the U.S. government is not going to be able to cover this up by jailing or murdering me almost taunting the U.S. to try to track him electronically. There's no real way of him protecting himself if he's online uh, and connected live to a site. Snowden's leaks are reverberating around the world. The Chinese today called on the U.S. to explain last week's disclosure of U.S. hacking on Chinese targets. He's the equivalent of a Chinese spy if he gives China details of U.S. intelligence operations that were run against Chinese networks. In his online chats today, Snowden denied he was a spy or gave the Chinese any American secrets. And a defiant Snowden said being called a traitor by former Vice President Dick Cheney over the weekend was, quote, the highest honor you can give an American. And George. More likely to come, right? That's right.